Hi, it's BTNE channel. Wise men said, an egg is always an adventure. The next one may be different. So come on this trip with me, and together we'll explore extraordinary world beyond the naked eye. So let's start the journey by looking at some main components of egg. To begin with, let's look at egg white, known also as albumen. When fresh and in native state, albumen has clear liquid appearance, similar to water. For our project, I've applied small amount of heat to set the egg whites and make them visible. This process is professionally called denaturation. Chemically, this is process by which the chains of amino acids are changed from their original state. Egg white contains 90% of water and 10% of proteins. When egg white is raw, the proteins are curled up into very tight balls and invisible in this form. When heat is applied, those proteins uncoil and get tangled together. When they tangle, they create particles big enough to see. The primary natural purpose of egg white is to protect the oak and provide extra nutrition for the growth of embryo. Okay, let's move to second element, which is called calaza. In layman's term, these are ropey strands of egg white which anchor the equatorial region of yolk or opposite ends of the yolk, if you like. Their job is to act as balancers, maintaining yolk in steady position in laid egg. Apparently, the more prominent calaza, the fresher the egg. That's an interesting fact. While watching this part of the video, you'll notice orange-looking particles suspended in strange cocoons. There are also visible calcium crystals inside them. Red color could be linked to traces of blood present. However, I wasn't able to confirm it, as there are no RBCs present. They possibly dissolved leaving partial hemoglobin behind. Let's take a look at egg yolk. Yolk is also known as vitellus and weighs 33% of the entire liquid portion of the egg. Chicken's egg yolk is a major source of vitamins and minerals. It contains all of the egg's fat and cholesterol and nearly half of all available proteins. Yolk's primary function is to supply food for development of embryo. That explains why vitellus is packed with so much nutrients. 
Yolks, particularly from free-range eggs, can have wide range of colors, spanning nearly from white to practically red or even olive green, depending on the pigments in hen's diet. Feeding hens large amount of red pigmented food, such as peppers, tends to result in red or deep orange yolks. Commercially, chicken's farm can use additives to produce darker yolks, even though their hens never leave the building. Free-range chickens eating natural food will have completely different shades of yolk. This is because of variation in each hen's diet. Yolk's color is also affected by the time of year and the type of food available. In the winter, hen eats more pellets and as a result, their egg have paler yolks. In spring, it's possible for a hen to eat fresh greens and even lay eggs with slightly green yolks. Okay, lastly, we've got vitellin membrane. The vitellin membrane is the extracellular protein membrane covering entire yolk, or putting it simply, ball sac for yolk's content. Vitellin membrane protects yolk from breaking and spilling inside shell. The mechanical properties of this membrane can be considered as a measure for the egg freshness. If membrane is weak and easily tearing, then you are probably eating older egg. I believe that you are also fascinated as I am by the channels created in the membrane and yolk's content flowing through them. I can't explain what's going on here, but nevertheless, it's beautiful to watch. That's all for now. Many thanks for watching.